It's not a hobby, but a lifelong pursuit for one Hollywood legend who gave us a tour of her breathtaking gardens. There's a little house on Los Angeles' west side where there's no mistaking, it's spring. The thousands of flowers blooming right now are the passion of a woman who's the master of it all. It's paradise. This paradise was created by Julie Newmar, who's delighted to share it with us. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. Your title. I have a title? You do. I've never heard of this. Oh, yeah. What is the title? Gardener extraordinaire. Oh. Her other titles may be yeah. far better known. Julie Newmar was a dancer, a model, and an actress forever known as the temptress Catwoman in the 1960s well, TV series you know, Batman. Perhaps we might get to know each other a little better. Through six decades in the spotlight, Newmar held gardens tight because of what is deeply rooted in her childhood. That had to do with my father. I think that was the safest and happiest place for me with my father, was in a garden. And he built a playhouse, fountains. So she had fountains built here to stand alongside more plants that even she can count. This is an unusual bird of paradise because it doesn't have those flapping wings. And on your right is the Alice in Wonderland gate. No matter where she was in the world, she says, yeah. she made sure there were always remnants of that safe and happy place she knew as a child. Well, when I lived in New York, I had a penthouse with two balconies around the side, and I won't tell you everything that I grew in there. <laughs> but there were trees and there were vines. It was beautiful. So you've yes. never lived without? Never lived without flowers. The rigors of working in the entertainment business for a lot of people, there's ego, there's long stretches of, of intensity. There's a lot going on A lot there. going on. What did being a gardener present for you mm -hmm. through that? If there was a problem that I could not solve, I would just come out in the garden and it just kind of entangles your nerves. It's, it's a wonderful place to be. Much of her paradise was designed for her own child, John, now 42 with Down syndrome and nearly deaf. Oh, he loves it. Yeah, I just feel his bodily excitement. Nature is so perfect in itself that for me, this is healing on earth. For John and for herself, there are plenty of childlike places to discover. I found your secret garden. That was for my son right here, see? <laughs> and all the sculptures are made to order. It's me, really, about 10 years old. But it's an ongoing thing. That's what's wonderful. It's like life. You keep on enriching your own life, and the flowers tell you where they want to be. How long did it take to create this? I don't want to say how long I've been here. It's three decades at least, going on four. At every turn, there's something new. What have you found now? Donkey's tail? You have more garden back here. Do go down there. I'll meet you on the other side. An avalanche of roses is on the other side. She has more than 80 different varieties. Each bush has its own spirited name. Those are the famous Jacqueline Dupre. She was the great cellist. Jump for Joy and Pumpkin Patch. And of course, there's this one. Show you the Julie Newmar roses. Ever the performer. <laughs> Julie Newmar's latest production are her online garden videos. Being a dancer and or a choreographer, we see things in movement. So you get a kind of shape of things. And then when you have a small space, it's very good to create curves rather than straight lines, because then your eye goes out of the garden. Did dancing inspire the garden? It has to. It's a piece of choreography. This summer, she turns 90. Her long life has clearly left her unwaveringly optimistic. Aren't we lucky to have this time on Earth? Mars, maybe, but the Earth, yes. That's so exciting. Because she's remained devoted to the safe and happy place her father introduced her to 
so long ago. 89 years young, still moving around. Uh, that garden was brilliant. You can lose yourself in it. I asked her, I said, well, isn't there a drought going on in, in Los Angeles? She was like... No, they got a lot of rain this spring. <laughs> they did, yeah, but, but for 30 years, that garden has, you know, gone through the constant growth and transformation, and she's nursed it the entire 30 years. There's certainly healing powers within it.